Ethernet cables. Ethernet cables are the most common wired network cables you'll see at home and in offices. They use a connector called RJ45, and inside them you'll find twisted copper wires that help reduce interference, giving you stable and reliable speed. These cables come in different categories, or CAT for short, like CAT5E, CAT6, CAT6A, all the way to CAT8. Think of categories like road upgrades. Higher numbers equals more bandwidth, more speed, and less signal noise. For beginners, CAT5E is perfect for normal internet use. CAT6 is recommended if you want gigabit speeds with less interference, while CAT6A and CAT8 are used in commercial buildings and data centers. Just keep in mind, Ethernet cables are only reliable up to around 100 meters. Anything longer and the signal weakens. And if you're installing them inside walls or floors, make sure the jacket is fire rated. Ethernet is still the cheapest, most stable way to connect devices compared to Wi-Fi. Coax cables. Coax cables, often called coax, are one of the oldest and most reliable types of cables used to deliver high-frequency data signals. On the inside, they have a single copper core that carries information, surrounded by a thick insulating layer, then a woven or foiled metal shield that protects the signal from outside interference, and finally a durable outer jacket. This layered design allows coax to maintain strong signal quality over long distances without losing much speed. In the early days, coax was used for telephone trunk lines, and today it's commonly used by internet providers to bring broadband into your home, as well as for cable TV, CCTV security systems, satellite dishes, and radio antennas. Because of its heavy shielding, coax is extremely stable in noisy environments where power cables, motors, or radio signals would normally interfere. It's thicker and less flexible than Ethernet, and usually requires special connectors, but when you need long distance, signal strength, and noise protection, coaxial cables are still hard to beat. Fiber cables. Fiber cables are completely different from traditional copper wiring because they transmit data using light instead of electricity. Inside the cable is a tiny glass core where light pulses travel, surrounded by a cladding layer that keeps those pulses from leaking out. Because the signal is light, it can travel over very long distances without losing speed or quality, and it's immune to electrical interference. To prevent damage, the core is coated and reinforced with flexible strength members like Kevlar, then wrapped in protective jackets depending on where it will be installed. Indoors, fiber cables are thin and lightweight, making them ideal for data centers and network backbones. Outdoors, they become more rugged, sealed against water, temperature changes, and physical stress. Fiber optic cables are most commonly used by ISPs, large businesses, and telecom providers to deliver high-speed internet, handle massive data transfers, and connect buildings or entire countries together with ultra-fast, reliable communication. Undersea internet cables are long fiber optic cables laid on the ocean floor. They carry internet data as tiny flashes of light between countries. These cables connect continents and handle almost all international internet traffic. Inside the cable, there are very thin glass fibers that send the light, and around them are many protective layers to stop water, pressure, and damage. Along the cable, there are special devices called repeaters, placed every few kilometers to keep the light signal strong. The cable ends at landing stations on land, which then connect to the normal internet we use every day. These cables are very important because they are faster and handle more data than satellites, which helps with things like video calls, online banking, cloud storage, and gaming. Sometimes they can be damaged by anchors, fishing tools, or underwater earthquakes, but many backup cables exist so the internet can still work. And that's it. Now you know how the cables behind our internet really work. Tell me down in the comments, which type of cable are you currently using at home? If you learned even one new thing from this video, then subscribe to my channel because I break down technology in the simplest way possible.